Despite Moss being a 4 star character, he is a very reliable follow up attack unit, which is why I want to put him to the test with this team of Dr. Ratio, Harmony Trailblazer and Galagar. Thanks to his ability to assign an enemy a spray, he will activate his follow up attack which coordinates amazingly with Dr. Ratio. Also, this entire team, except for most, is entirely free to play, which means that at one point in the game you could get all of these characters for free. So I will leave you with the rest of this video and I'll come back to see Mo's skills and how to build him. See you in a bit. Now the thing is about Mose is that he is a sub DPS character. You want to focus on getting him the much the as much attack as you need and also crit damage and crit rate. For example, right now I have my Mose I have I am two levels away from level 80, which is a little bit of a bummer, <laughs> but I'm I'm trying to farm right here. This is hard man. Um I have my Mose at uh 2300 at attack. 55% crit rate and more than 100 crit damage. Now, the thing is, I want to focus more on crit damage. I want to uh, farm for better artifacts, but right now, as it stands my luck, I have I have these sets right now. I'm gonna show it to you in a bit. I have 55% of break effect, which is it, it's nice. Um, it shouldn't be a main focus for you. Uh, effect heat rate, effect rest, it really doesn't matter and we have a bit of lightning, lightning damage bonus mostly for his traces. Now the light cone that I have for him is sword play. For each time the water hits the same target, damage still increases by 60%, stacking up to 5 times. This effect will be dispelled when the water changes targets. So this is great. This is a very specific niche, uh, like the light cone for most because, as it stands, the prey talent that most has requires for you to attack uh, the enemy that has the prey assignation. So the moment that you get the enemy that has the prey status inflicted on on, on himself from most. You want to attack that character as much as you can because you are gonna uh, increase uh, the damage taken from that enemy, uh, and it's gonna be you're gonna be able to deal most damage to that enemy specifically, mostly because of the the prey the prey talent, which we're gonna see in a while. So this this light cone is perfect for him. There are there are more better light cones that you can put on most. But as a free-to-play kind of build character, Swordplay is very good. Um, if you have him and you have this icon, you can go wrong. Now, the traces. 
we can see them right here. Night Fetter. After using the talent follow up attack recovers one skill point. This effect can trigger again after one turn. So we're gonna be uh, re uh, having recovering skill points, which is a really good thing. Uh, no problems with that. Dagger Hold. When most dispels his departed state, his action advances by 20%. At the start of each wave, Moses action advances by 30%. So he's gonna be dealing more uh, frequently at the beginning of the of the battle, which is I mean it's, it's a good thing. You can help this to activate the other follow up attacks for from other units. Now technique after using technique enters the stealth state for twenty seconds. While in stealth, most is undetectable by enemies. If most attacks enemies to enter combat while in stealth. Increases damage by 30% lasting for two turns Which is it's really good. Let's see that let's say that you really don't want to be farming or you want to Explore a new area quickly without the the requirement of defeating all the enemies you can use this to to more efficiently walk to unknown areas and also increase Moses damage by 30% now dash in, dash out, which is the ultimate. There's da lightning damage equal to 243% of most attack to a single target enemy. And launches the talent's follow-up attack against this target. If the target is defeated before this follow-up attack is used, launches the follow-up attack against a random single enemy instead. So follow-up attack. That's the most principal um, uh, objective that you have with most. So you want to pair him with other units that do follow up attacks. Now, the uh, uh, very good exa example would be Fei Xiao, like we saw previously in the gameplay a little minutes ago. Doctor Ratio is also a very it's it's also a very good unit that has follow up attacks. So, because uh, keep focus on that. The basic attack it's it's okay. Now skill. Flat wing rate. Marks a designed single enemy target as prey and deals to it the line is lightning damage equal to 121% of most attack and gains 9% of charge. When there are no other characters on the field that are capable of combat, most cannot use the skill and dispel the enemy's prey state. Now this is what we're talking about. Most is gonna designate a single enemy as prey. So this is gonna help us uh, use the light cone of uh, Sword Blade to its maximum potency, but additionally we're gonna be dealing more damage to this enemy and we, I believe it's right here, this right here above, yeah here is, talent. When Prey exists on the field, most will enter the party state. After allies attack Prey, most will additionally deal one instance of lightning additional damage equal to 26% of his attack and consumes one point of charge. For every 3 points of charge consumed, remember we have 9 charges, most launches one follow-up attack to prey, dealing damage, uh, lightning damage equal to 140% of his attack, and when we reach 0, dispel the target's prey state, and resets the tally of charges point required to follow the launch of follow-up attack. Talent follow-up attack does not consume charge. So this is it. Uh, most is gonna be more efficiently against uh, one single enemy. You're gonna be, you're not gonna be using him a lot um, for AOE damage, but you can focus maybe on the boss if the boss is assigned as prey, and you can have units that deal with the other enemies that are around the field. But yeah, prey is amazing. I mean, you can. You can take a lot with, with this skill, especially if you use other characters to attack and they have the prey status, you're gonna be dealing more damage to them. So most is also, it's like a, an amplificator, but not for you specifically. So it's gonna be debuffing the enemy, and if you use your units to attack that debuff enemy, you're gonna be dealing more damage. So it's it's a really good, uh, good kit overall. And finally, bonus ability. When dealing damage by using ultimate, it is considered as having launched a follow-up attack. Pretty amazing. The follow-up attack damage taken by prey increases by 25%. So, yeah, with most you want to focus on the main enemy that has the prey designated. So, 
I believe this is also RNG. So if you have more enemies on the field, it's gonna it's, it's gonna depend on who is assigning the spray. Um, it's the only bad thing that I see. But you don't want to run most on his own. You want to be assigned as a sub DPS and have another character that hits like a truck for you, which is the combination that we have with most and Doctor Ratio. Now the readings that I have on him. Is the Duran Dynasty of Running Wolves. When an, an ally uses a follow up attack, the Warriors gains one stack of merit, stacking up to five times. Each stack of merit increases damage dealt by the Warriors' follow up attack by 5%. When there are five stacks, additional increases the Warriors' crit damage by 25%. Pretty good, perfect for most. And Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters increases damage dealt to enemies with the boss by 12%, and increases crit rate by 4%. The Warriors deals 8 to 12% increase uh, crit damage to enemies with at least 2 3 debuffs, which is uh, most I believe it counts as inflicting 2 debuffs, which also activates uh, Dr. Ratio uh, entire kit and deals 25% more damage if I remember. And finally, the Eidolons for most, I wouldn't say they are like like broken broken for example i have e1 after entering battle most regenerates 20 energy it's time the initial damage from his talent is triggered most regenerates 2 energy i mean he has his home battery that's good when a light an ally deals damage to enemy targets mark a spray increases crit damage by 40 percent this is huge because as it's worded all the allies receive crit damage by 40 percent which is huge but to the enemy mark a spray remember that so we're gonna be dealing a lot of damage to the one character that is designated as spray now hit prowler which is e4 when you see ultimate increases damage dealt by most by 30 percent i mean it's okay and fate binder fate binder increases the damage multiplier of the talent follow up by attack by 25 percent so i would say that rat better it's like the top most useful Eidolon that you can get to most uh, so keep an eye on that and yeah that will be all guys thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video most has been a jewel I mean most all of most of the four star characters that hockey star has been releasing are amazing uh, even better than most old five star units so uh, if you really like it, you should build him up. It's it's very good. It's a very good unit, and there are more follow-up attack units coming on their way. So you, uh, it would be cool if you consider employing resources to train most. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with two videos at the end if you want to keep watching more content of Honkai Star Rail and other gacha games that we cover here in the channel. And if you want to support the channel, I'm gonna leave you with a few ideas down below in the comments below and the description. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jules and I'll see you in the next one.